These are issues that we, we need to address. After a video of a young woman distressed and zip tied at a Winnipeg hotel went viral, one city councillor says the public deserves answers as to where the police investigation is at and whether or not the men involved could face potential charges. <laughs> And frustration was raw in Winnipeg after the video of the December 25th, 2023 incident surfaced online earlier this month, with hotel staff saying the restraint was used after the woman reportedly threatened staff with a knife. And while the woman was charged with assault with a weapon and a knife was recovered, police say no injuries were reported. The man who shot the video disputed the claims the woman was dangerous, describing her to City News previously as, quote, quiet as a mouse, end quote. There's lots of concern over how the was handled and we need to investigate this. But the incident itself has left behind too many unanswered questions, said Cindy Gilroy, counselor for the Daniel McIntyre Ward where the hotel is located. She says as both a counselor and Winnipeg's representative on the UN Safe Cities Project, something must be done immediately. And when asked if she feels the men in the video should be facing charges or examined criminally, her answer was absolutely. What happened there is something that we need to address and we need to seriously look at as a community and as a city. A request for comment from the Winnipeg police on the status of the investigation and on Gilroy's concerns was not accommodated by broadcast deadline. The Marlboro Hotel originally opened as the Olympia Hotel in November 1914 at the start of World War I, and it found hard times almost immediately after opening due to war and depression, shutting its doors in May 1915. The hotel would serve as HQ to an army unit during the war, after which it would become the Marlboro, and according to historical background from the city of Winnipeg, would take its place, quote, among the city's finest establishments, end quote. The hotel would expand its presence on the city's skyline in 1921, with six additional stories added to the original three, and would expand again in the 1960s. And while a postcard from the archives of Manitoba would see the Marlboro called one of the city's leading hotels in 1925, 99 years later in 2024, many of its windows broken, a municipal warning on its door, and a security guard inside saying the hotel is void of guests. It's under police investigation, so there's nothing I can talk about right now. Reached by phone Thursday, the general manager of the hotel in Rakib Hoki declined comment, saying the matter is under investigation. Why won't you answer questions about this, sir? Uh, I have. I, I. I told you it's under investigation right now. I don't want to say anything right now. People have Thank also you. called Bye -bye. for the the hotel video to be released. And while the doors of the Marlboro remain locked Thursday, Councillor Gilroy hopes the hotel is one day restored to its former glory. I do think that that was once a gem. I think it could be a wonderful place again. But but we need. There's obviously needs to be work there. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News. Ahead.